Good morning. Before we get started, I want to remind you that next Sunday, we're going to do the Lord's Supper together. And we've made arrangements. Each of you can go by Russ Smith's house and pick you up a little thing of juice and crackers. And that way you can all do it at the same time with us. You won't have to worry about going to town to get any. I pray that you're having a good week. Now I'm going to turn it over to Amy. Our call to worship is, Oh, how he loves you and me. Father, we thank you again for this opportunity to come together on this very special day for mothers. And Lord, I pray that everyone here has taken the time either to call their mother for those few that still have them left, or Lord, that they've talked to their children and their grandchildren, great-grandchildren, about talk, calling their mothers and tell them how grateful they are. This is a very special day, Lord, and we just Pray that all mothers will truly feel honored and loved. And I know no matter how much we say, we can't ever say anything enough good about them. Thank you for your love and your love that allows them to love us. In Christ's name, amen. Our first hymn is page 496. If you have a book, Living for Jesus, we're going to do the first and the last stanza.
blessing, page 533, the first and the last stanza. And I picked these songs, I know it's Mother's Day, but I picked these because I thought about Mary being the mother of Christ, and she was such a blessing. And I think that we all need to try and be that blessing in other people's lives like that. So number 533, verse 1 and 3. with us. She's going to sing special music. Our pianists are switching places over there as Christine comes and gets settled into her seat. So we want to thank Christine for being here today. I thank Mary, uh, Kat, Carol Ann Abbott for playing the piano for us and Miss Eunice Sunberg for playing the organ. And she's going to cut me Miss Christine now.
Sure.